everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. We'll be doing a gentle but powerful flow to help open up our shoulders and upper backs today. So if you have a yoga blanket, you'll want to grab that. If you don't have a specific yoga blanket, that's fine. Any uh, blanket that you can roll up and create kind of a firm roll. It's like a you know fleecy fuzzy blanket is not going to serve you very well here. If that's all you have on hand, probably a large bath or beach towel would be a better option because what you want to do as you get ready is roll this up and have it be supportive for your shoulders. So take a moment and go ahead and grab a blanket or a beach towel or a large bath towel, something with a little bit of heft and a little bit firm today. when you have that prop, you're going to open it up so it's about the width of your mat, the width of the short edge of your mat, not the long edge of your mat. And you can have it, I have mine folded in a little bit because it's a big blanket. If you have a towel, you can just leave it kind of normal width if you want it to support your shoulders. And then what you're going to do is create a nice roll here, rolling that blanket up. And you want this to be relatively firm so that when you lie across it you feel your shoulders starting to open but you can always make this a little bit less of a roll or a little bit more of a roll so experiment you'll lie this near the back of your mat and then you want to lie yourself down with the bottom of your shoulder blades being about the bottom of that roll so that when you lie all the way back if your head goes a little further back you can always put another cushion or blanket or towel there if you need to and your arms maybe can go over the top of the roll and you can start to feel a stretch in your pectoral muscles. Just take a moment to wiggle around, adjusting as needed. And you can absolutely here do anything that feels good with your legs. Anything that feels pleasant. And if you are wearing glasses as I am today, maybe just setting them off to the side so they're not distracting you. You just want to feel here a gentle opening across the center of your chest, a gentle compression, a gentle pressure underneath your shoulder blades. Enjoy that openness, that spaciousness around the shoulders. Take an extra deep breath in 
Maybe you like to reach your arms up over your head, deepening the stretch around your armpits for a moment. And then bringing your armpit back down by the sides a little more. Draw the soles of your feet in so your knees are pointing straight up to the ceiling. And then what you're going to do here is rock a little bit over to your right. You can just rock your knees over so that might be enough to feel kind of your right shoulder blade a little more. You can walk all the way over to the right, bringing your right arm over right hand to touch. Or excuse me, bringing your left arm over left hand to touch the right hand because you're on your right side. And then maybe rock back over to the left. And you're kind of just massaging your shoulder blades here. So you can go a few times each direction. knees and the arms and go to the point that you need to go to to feel some action there on the shoulders. And the next time that you roll all the way over to the left, you're just going to use your hands and you're going to press yourself up to a comfortable seated position. You might decide to cross your legs in front of you or if you like, you can sit with the soles of the feet together. We're going to do a forward fold, feel free to grab that blanket and you can use it in front of you as a little prop here, unrolling it and then folding it into a little book size. And then you're just going to fold forward, resting your hands or your forearms on the floor in whatever way works for your body. You want to feel a pleasant stretch in your low back, maybe the back of your hip. You're welcome to crawl your fingertips really far forward if you like here. Or not. Feel the back of your body getting a little stretch. And then walk your fingertips over towards the left. Stretching the right side of your torso. If you want to go even a little deeper, you can stack your right hand on top of your left hand here, interlacing your right fingers into the left finger creases. Letting the right hip be heavy towards the floor. And then inhale, you're going to wander back center line. Wander yourself all the way in here. Roll your shoulders back. Inhale, bring your arms over your head. As you exhale, draw your elbows down and lightly behind you. Expand your chest forward. Inhale here. And then as you exhale, round forward, palms, elbows, forearms together. You can tuck your right elbow if you want underneath your left elbow, pulling your left elbow across the body. You're taking the backs or the fronts of the hands together, creating a little hollow in your belly. You can round forward here, so it's a little bit of a cat-shaped spine. And inhale, open up, come back into that kind of expansion of the center of your chest or cow-shaped elbows lightly towards the back of the room. And then as you exhale, you're going to bring your hands onto your legs. If you're sitting cross-legged, you can switch. If you're sitting with soles of the feet together, you can adjust as needed. And then find your forward fold again. Then you can take the same variation, or maybe you go a little bit further now that you're here on the second side. Feel a little stretch. Maybe if you reach your fingertips forward, you feel your shoulders as well as the lower portion of your back. over to the right, stretching the left side of your body. Again, you can place the left hand on top of the right hand, interlacing the fingers if you would like.
those fingertips back towards the center. And you walk the hands in towards you. Reach your arms up overhead, inhale. As you exhale, draw the elbows back and stay here. As you inhale, you expand your chest even a little more. And then as you exhale, you round forward. You do palms, elbows, and forearms together. You can tuck the left elbow underneath the right elbow, drawing the right arm a little across the body. We're back to our fronts of hands together. And you just want to, again, round a little bit here. Pull your belly button towards your spine. Come in towards yourself. Feel your shoulder blades drawing away from the muscles of your back here. Nice stretch between them. Open all the way back up, go back into that kind of cow shape, opening your chest. And then as you exhale, bring your hands down. And now go ahead and make your way towards your table pose. Hands under your shoulders and knees under your hips. If you need to cushion your knees, you can use your blanket or fold your mat over a little bit so you're comfortable here. We're going to start by drawing some circles with our arms. As you inhale, you're going to reach your right arm forward. And then as you exhale, circle your arms and back. If you can, turn your palm to face the outer edge of the mat as you move backwards. And then as you exhale, rotate your palm to face your body, coming and completing that circle. Inhale, reach up, rotate the palm out. Exhale, reach down and back, rotate the palm in. You can repeat that a few more times. As you reach the right arm forward, tuck the left toes under and reach the left toes to the back of the mat. Leave that right arm reaching up into the sky. Pull the shoulders away from the ears. Push into the balls of your left toes. Inhale. And as you exhale, continue that circle. Now placing the right hand underneath the shoulder. You'll just rock a little bit forward and back on that left foot. Pushing into the toes, and warming up the calf and the Achilles tendon a little bit. A nice massage for the wrists as you rock forward and back. And then draw that left knee in. Shrug the shoulders back. And now reach your left arm forward as you inhale. Rotate your palm outward and complete the circle as you exhale, turning the palm in. Inhale, push forward and up. Exhale, rotate back and down. A few more like that. Any range of motion that feels stretchy to your body. And this time as you reach the left arm forward, you tuck the right toes under, you reach the right foot back. And for a nice long breath, move that left arm up into the sky, palm faces outward. Push into your right toes, lift your right hand, and take your left hand back towards your butt, so behind where you are looking. So you feel stretch in your armpit. Inhale here. And as you exhale, you complete that circle. And you place the hand now. And again, you're just going to rock forward and back with those right toes tucked under. Massaging a little bit the foot and the ankle. And drawing that right knee in, spread your fingers again nice and wide. As you inhale, drop the center of your chest, pull your shoulders back, find your cow pose. As you exhale, lift your belly up, find your cat pose. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. After a few times at your own pace. Inhale to come back to neutral. You're going to tuck both sets of toes under and then bring your hips back to where 
spreads your heels, stretching the arches of your feet. Now reach your fingertips forward and really reach your fingertips forward. You can put your forehead on the floor so that you feel, again, a little stretch maybe around your armpits and your shoulders. If it's just too much to have the toes tucked under, you can always untuck them here. So your left knee is over your left ankle, your left thigh is parallel to the floor. When you're ready, lift your arms up over your head. You're going to grab your right wrist with your left hand and lean a little towards your left, so towards your front knee, softening your shoulders, relaxing your jaw. If you feel quite stable, you can pull your hands a little bit back behind you, increasing the stretch in your shoulders. As you inhale, come back to the center line. As you exhale, fold all the way back forward. Plant your hands under your shoulders and step your left knee back next to your right knee. You're back in your table pose. As you inhale, find your cow shape. As you exhale, lift your belly, find your a couple more like that. Really think about your shoulders today. Letting them round forward as you lift your belly into your cat pose as you exhale. And then pulling them back and down as you lift your heart coming into your cow pose, your inhale. for a downward facing dog, take your hands a little bit wider than the distance of your own shoulders. And if 
you like. You can test this out and see how it goes. It may or may not feel good. You can angle your fingertips slightly outwards. To me, this feels wonderful for my shoulders. It may or may not for you, so you can take that one with a grain of salt. But definitely hands an inch or two wider than you would normally have them. Tuck your toes under and lift up to your downward facing dog. Keep your knees nice and soft here so that the focus is about your upper back rather than your hamstrings. And you feel a nice stretch as you imagine that you're squeezing your armpits in a little bit. All through that shoulder area. Let the center of your chest, let your heart be a little bit heavy. It's coming towards the floor. And then if you like, you can pedal your feet around and kind of get into the legs. Sway your hips, do anything that feels good. And please don't hesitate to adjust your wrists. If angling the hands out doesn't feel good to you, there's no need to do it. And take another deep breath here. And once you're ready, you're going to step one foot to the front of the mat. And the other foot to the front of the mat. You're coming back towards your forward fold. Maybe you like to let your hands just be heavy. Or maybe you like to take your hands into the opposite elbow crease. Getting a little more traction for the spine. And again, let your knees be a little soft. Let your belly drape forward over your thighs. Inhale, release your hands, find halfway lift. And on your exhale, fold forward, plant your fingertips down. Step your left foot to the back of the mat, bring your left knee to the floor. Use your fingertips or your hands on blocks or any other prop to frame your right foot. And then place your left hand down. Reach your right arm forward as you inhale. As you exhale, you start to circle that arm backwards, rotating the palm to face the outside of the mat. And then as you inhale, you circle forward, rotating the palm to face inside. So we're in that big circle, rotating through the shoulders. onto the thigh. You can use your hands on your thigh to kind of press your torso a little bit away from your legs. So you're up straight and tall here in this 90 degree lunge. Again, your front thigh is parallel to the floor and your knee is just about over your ankle. And then when you feel quite stable, you can lift your arms up. Grab your left wrist with your right hand and lean a little bit over to your right, stretching out the whole left side of the body. As you exhale, fold all the way forward. Plant your hands down underneath your shoulders. You can take your knees a little wider here. Come back towards your child's pose this time. And you're going to fold your right arm in so that your uh, forearm is roughly parallel to the short edge of your mat. And then you lean forward and you rest your forehead on your right forearm. Keep reaching your left fingertips out in front of you. Push the fingertips into the mat and tent the palm of the hand so you feel a deep stretch in your left armpit region. Take a few breaths here.
one more ready gonna slide that left hand in now you're folding the left arm across the front of the mat forearm about parallel to the short edge and you reach your right arm forward rest your forehead on your left forearm as you reach that right set of fingertips actively out in front of you fingertips press down palm lifts like a little tent Lovely stretch all along your right shoulder. to walk yourself back to a seated position and if it feels comfortable we're going to stay here for about two minutes to sit on your heels great go ahead and do that if that doesn't feel comfortable go ahead and sit in any way that does feel comfortable I'm going to sit cross-legged and then once you find your seat reach your arms out in front of you cross your left arm underneath your right arm again you could Pull your left arm across the body, or you could take your hands, backs of hands or fronts of hands together in that little eagle arm shape, if that feels good. And then really let your elbows grow heavy here. Let your shoulders grow heavy. Turn to look a little over to your right, shifting your forearms over to the right as well. And then maybe lean forward again here, tucking your elbows in towards your belly as you come into this side forward bend. And hopefully feel your whole left shoulder area. You can even take your right ear a little more towards your right shoulder to feel a stretch in your neck. Let gravity here do the work. And just kind of lounge into this one. Chin to chest, elbows to belly. arms if you need to roll your shoulders around a little bit please do and then reach your arms in front of you cross your left arm underneath you can pull your right arm across the body or you can wind up here see what feels more comfortable and then heavy elbows heavy shoulders turn a little towards the left Draw the elbows towards the belly, maybe leaning a little bit into the bend, the forward bend. And of course, you can take your left ear towards your left shoulder. Just think about that. Stretching the right side of your neck a little more, your right shoulder. Unwind your arms again. You can mobilize your shoulders a little bit if you would like. And then you're going to come back when you're ready to your table pose. Hands and knees. Take just one round of cow and cat. Inhaling shoulders back. Exhaling belly lift. 
As you inhale, come back to neutral again. We're going to go to our downward facing dog. Maybe you like to take your hands a little wider or take your hands a little out again, angling. Or maybe you just like to take your hands a little forward, a little more stretch in your downward facing dog. Or you can do all three of those things. So hands forward, hands wide, hands out. All of those are options. When you're ready, press down into your fingertips, back your toes, lift your hips. And again, at first, focus on your back. Getting some space around your shoulders. If you need to move the hands, please do. And then you can move around in your lower body if you want as well. You can stay in downward facing dog your knees to table, whichever you choose when you're ready. Inhale your right foot to the sky and then exhale, step your right foot up to the front of the mat. Bring your left knee to the floor. So we're working left, right, left, right. And then again, press into your fingertips, press into your right heel, lift yourself up if you need a cushion for your back knee. Don't hesitate to grab one. Hands are onto the thigh, press your torso a little bit away. Roll your shoulders back. As you inhale, bring your arms up over your head. And then as you exhale, find those wings, elbows down and back, open in your chest. Sweep your arms all the way down and then forward as you inhale. And then as you exhale, wings. One more like that. As you inhale, bring your arms up. As you exhale, fold forward, fingertips to the floor or to cross on either side of your front foot. Draw your hips back, straighten your right leg a little bit until you feel a stretch there. If you like, you can always wiggle your right foot forward or flip your right toes up. Or conversely, you could walk your hands in towards you. This is your half splits or your Ardha Hanumanasana. You want to feel now the back of your right thigh stretching. But at the same time, see if you can relax your shoulder and your jaw. One little add on here. The left hand is going to stay on the floor or prop planted down. I like my hand right about underneath my shoulder, so I'm more kind of in line with my shin or my knee. And then see if with a slightly straightened right leg, you can twist to your right. If you need to bend your right knee here and go back more to the twisted lunge, don't hesitate to do so. Squeeze your inner thighs together, pull your shoulders back. And again, you can take this right hand a little bit back behind you, feeling that deeper stretch in the inner shoulder. Inhale here. As you exhale, fold towards the floor. You're gonna bend your right knee, plant your hands under your shoulders, and again, step your right knee back next to your left knee. One cow as you inhale. One cat as you exhale. You could stay in table, or you can tuck your toes and come to downward facing dog for a few breaths. Whatever you choose, maybe move around in a way that feels good to your body. your left foot to the sky as you breathe in. As you breathe out, step forward with that left foot, right knee to the floor, fingertips frame that left foot, push the left heel down, squeeze the thighs, and lift up hands to thigh, pushing your torso a little bit away so there's space between your belly and the top of your left leg. When you're ready, reach your arms up to the sky. This is your inhale. And as you exhale, you fold your elbows, you open the center of your chest, wings. Inhale, sweep the arms down and then back up. Exhale, wings. One more like that. Inhale, reach your arms up. As you exhale, fold forward, fingertips are on the floor on props, framing that left foot and you take your hips a little bit back until you feel the back of your left thigh. If you need to wiggle the foot forward or flip the toes up, please do. If you need to walk the hands in or up onto props, do that. 
and find that place where you can be feeling the stretch, the intensity at the back of your left leg, but still a little relaxed in your upper body. You're going to leave that right hand again planted down, maybe right underneath your shoulder for more stability, more on a prop underneath your shoulder, and twist over to your left, maybe keeping that left leg straight if you can. If not, bending the knee. It's a little tricky with balance to have that leg perfectly straight. Pull the shoulders back, maybe open that left arm a little bit behind yourself, feeling the inner shoulder girdle or inner aspect of your shoulder girdle, it's not a separate girdle. Inhale, twist. And as you exhale, fold to the right side back. Watch your hands forward. And step the left knee back next to the right knee. Take your knees a little wider than your hips. And come back to your child's pose, forehead to the floor or fold in your forearms and forehead to the arms. Your choice. Now you're going to lift yourself up and here you're going to crawl yourself all the way forward onto your belly. Lift the center of your chest, slide your elbows underneath your shoulders, press the palms of your hands to the floor or if you prefer the palms of the hands towards one another, you can see what feels best in your shoulders for your sphinx pose. Draw your elbows isometrically to the back of the mat. Lift the center of your chest. Pull the heads of your shoulders back. And spend a few breaths here. It's totally okay if you feel a little bit of compression in your lower back, but there should be no pain there. the stretch.
your left arm out to the side in a T-shape with your body. I just have to scooch a little bit on my mat because I'll hit my wall if I open up my left arm, but the left hand goes out just uh, straight out from the shoulder. Tuck your right set of toes under, place your right fingertips on the floor and open your arm up in this big chicken wing so your right elbow is stacked above your right fingertips. Push your right toes into the floor and start to rock your weight over onto your left shoulder until again you feel stretched out the inside of the shoulder. You might lie your head on the floor, place your head on a prop here. If you can take it, you can step your right foot back behind your left thigh, opening that shoulder a little bit more. Some people even like to take their right hand down behind their back. And spend a few breaths here, enjoying the intensity of this one. You tell when I was at the computer today, this one was quite challenging. Lots of tense little muscles at the front of the shoulder. Take your hands again underneath your head for a cushion. You can let your head rest one side and stretch your arms back behind you. Find a little bit of rest for a few breaths and just enjoy the difference between your right side and your left side. underneath your left armpit. Take that whole little sequence over to the other side and fold your left forearm in and use that as a cushion for your head or again you could use your folded up blanket. And then find the amount of weight that you can lower down onto that right shoulder. And begin to open away from the muscles of your back. You are ready. You lift yourself up and you unthread that right arm. And you're going to extend that right arm straight out to the side, palm of the hand on the floor. Left fingertips come underneath the left elbow, wings open. You can lie the side of your head on the floor or on a prop. Tuck the left toes under, and as you're ready, roll yourself over to that right side. Maybe stepping the left foot behind the right thigh. See what's possible today for your body. Take the left hand behind the back if you would like. And just breathe into the stretch. More important, far more important even than getting into any type of pose or shape is the fact that while you attempt to do so, you are breathing. work always to breathe with evenness, with depth, with strength.
steps back and you can rest a little bit in child's pose. Totally up to you. See what feels right today. And just feel your shoulders, your upper back. fingertips in towards the top, making your way to seated. From here, you are going to sit in the center of your mat and go ahead and grab your blanket and fold it up into kind of a little brick shape or book shape. And it doesn't have to be super tall, but at least a couple of inches. I think mine is usually about four inches because I have a really nice thick blanket, but yours isn't that tall, don't worry. Another great thing to use here is like a small um, couch cushion, one of those kind of thicker, foamier ones. Anything this size, if you have a yoga block, you can use a yoga block. I just like the blanket because it's nice and gentle to my tailbone. Set that prop right next to your hips and lie yourself all the way down. Draw the soles of your feet in so your knees are pointing towards the ceiling. Lift your hips and take that prop underneath your hips, lowering your hips onto your blanket or your block or your pillow so that you have a little bit of elevation in your hips here. In a supported bridge pose. And you can let your hands rest down to your sides. And if you like a little more stretch in the upper vertebrae, you could take your arms over your head, back to the hands to the mat behind you. And you allow them to stay right here. Just might feel so, so lovely and relaxing. And if you'd like, you can add on a little bit. You could go to a psoas release, extending one both legs down to the end of the mat, getting a little stretch through your abdominal and your hip flexor muscles. That might feel quite nice. stay in one of these places. Or maybe you decide oh, your legs are rather tired and you'd like to extend one or both legs up towards the ceiling. Turn your feet underneath your knees, your hands by your sides. And press into your heels, lift your hips, move your prop out to the side. And let your hips come down to the floor. Hug your knees one and then the other into your chest. Give yourself a gentle rock from right to left if you like. 
your knees over to the left side for a twist. You can stack them, you can pinwheel them, you can always straighten one leg and bend the other if you prefer. Just twisting over to the left, maybe extending the right arm out to the side and then looking to the right to deepen. Hug your knees towards your chest. Maybe a gentle rocking motion. And we're ready for Shavasana. Of course, if there is any other pose or shape that your body would like, you are more than welcome to add that. Or you can simply extend your arms and your legs, finding for your body comfortable resting place.
right side out. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Maybe turn your head from right to left. And if you're ready, roll yourself to one side to rest for a few breaths. Or making your way to your most comfortable seated position today. As you arrive in your seat, you can bring your hands in front of your heart and close with a deep breath together in through nose, out through mouth on three. One, two, three. so much for joining me. Have a wonderful rest of your day.